Are we connected? <laughs> Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Or if this is your first time, welcome to Travel Snacks and to the live stream. Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, being resourceful, being kind to one another, and maybe living a lifestyle that's outside of the norm, whether you want to live in a car, a van, an RV, a truck, a tiny home, or something like that. And we're all here to be supportive of that. And we're just a nice group of people. And my name's Allison Sharp, for those of you that don't know. And I am very happy to be here today and very happy to see you guys here today. So let's see who's in the house. A um, couple things. Uh, some of you guys might know that my glasses broke a while back when I was on the road and I've had them just taped up. Um, Terry Zaleski, who is usually on the live stream, um, when I went to her house in Maryland, her husband put some epoxy on here and fixed it, but it cracked again. So... I finally, since I'm back in California, made an appointment with my eye doctor and just today went and got some new glasses. So here's my new glasses. They're lighter than the last ones. <clears throat> and these ones aren't bifocals. So it's not as like, these are just reading glasses. So I have to get a little bit closer to the screen, but they work really well for like my phone. <clears throat> and also these have the blue light blocker thing in here. Um, I said I would never get Costco glasses again, but they were pretty much very inexpensive. And so I ended up with Costco glasses, but hopefully these won't smudge as much. But these are my new glasses. So what do you guys think? They're pretty much like my old glasses, <laughs> but maybe just a little bit different of color. Anyway, welcome to Squeeze 74. Hey, Rob is in the house. One of our moderators, AGTWNC. Coming in hot, your awesome moderator Robbo is in the shed, impending lightning storm as well. Hey, Don Don from Smoky BC, everybody's and everything's. Hey, Tammy Schooley from Stockbridge, Georgia. Uh, and our OG moderator, Grant Hewell, is in the house. Happy Snack Chat Saturday to the Snack Pack. Um, oops, let me change it from top chat to all chat so I can see everybody. Let's see, hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Hey, Mimi's in the house. Hey, Meet Healthy Lori, how are you? Candied Little Yams, welcome. Deborah on the go, looking smart, thank you. Hey, Alicia, is it Alicia or Alicia Bassam? Try Zenny Optical, super cute glasses for cheap. I might try that just to get a second pair because you know you never know. Um, hey, Jonathan Sadlow, how are you? All right, so, um, Let's see, before we get started, go ahead and throw a like on the live stream. That lets YouTube know that you guys like the live streams. Right now, we've been doing them every other Saturday. Uh, when it starts to get a little bit cooler, I might bring back the every Saturday. But for now, we're doing every other Saturday. So the next live stream will be on, just to get it out of the way, will be on August 28th. Um, so let me just write that down. So I'll repeat that again at the end of the live stream. Um but we have a lot to talk about today. And first things first, how's everybody doing? Second of all, what's the temperature where you are? Because it's still blazing hot where my parents live. I'm gonna get into what I've been doing. Um, I'm basically at my parents right now and why and when I'm getting back in the van. Um, so right now it is 91 degrees and the high is gonna be 94. So it's still pretty hot, but it's a dry heat. So it's not too bad. Um, hey, James Jung is in the house. Uh, first one, uh, Alicia. Okay, I saw your video from when you were in Dallas. That's where I'm from. Oh, awesome. My eye doctor won't release my RX because it's been too long. Oh, dang. Wow, this is really live. Anyhow, that lobster roll looked killer. Oh, yeah, that those rolls were pretty good. And I'm not a huge lobster person, but it was pretty good. Oh, in the 90s. Okay, I have two pairs of Zenny Optical. They're super cheap, but but they work, especially if you're just for reading. Okay, yeah, I might check that out just for some extras. Um, thanks, Anthony, for asking. I'm feeling pretty good, and I'll get into that in just a second. Um, let's see. Grant's got sunny and 93, so you, that's hot for where Grant is in Canada. Um, it is hot. I think it's just hot everywhere. Um, hot as balls. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much. 93 in Atlanta. Hey, Diamond Road from New York. Hey, Ryan from Ohio. 
It's currently 91 in Phoenix, mostly cloudy. Got a lot of rain during the nights, night, lots of flash flooding in the desert. Um, it was sprinkling earlier today. So it's kind of like that too here, but not too bad. And it's 89 in Minnesota. So it just seems like it's very hot, very hot everywhere. So I don't know. It's just, it's been, it's been crazy. Um, if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the snack pack. And also, since you're going to be there, you might as well hit that notification button because then you'll know when these live streams happen, when I put up new videos and all that jazz. Uh, 83 degrees and light rain doesn't sound like Texas in the summer. Yeah. Hey, AI Marvin. Hey, Carla. Uh, from Missouri and 102 heat wave and smoky skies yesterday in Vancouver. Same today, rainy Monday. Wow. Um, thank you, Rob. Uh, I'm glad that you're doing better. Yes. Too hot with a tropical storm passing by central Florida life. That sounds about right. Um, let's see. Okay. So there's a few things I'm going to talk about today. Um, but first things first, a lot of you guys have been asking how my parents are. And I am at, back at my parents' house. Um, for those of you that don't know, my parents were on vacation and my dad caught COVID, but my mom and dad caught COVID, but he's the only one that got tested. He ended up in the hospital. They drove back. And when they got back, I wasn't here because obviously they had COVID. And so I just went and stayed with a friend. And then I finally came back last Saturday. So I've been here for one week and a lot of you have been asking how my parents are. They are doing better, but they are here. And I know a lot of you have been sending so many wonderful messages. So I appreciate that. They appreciate that. And so I want to take my computer out right now um, as a little tiny um, field trip. I know Grant loves the field trips. This isn't going to be outside, but I'm just going to take you guys out to the living room, point the computer towards them. You guys can see that they're doing well. They can say hi to you guys and they, cause they want to go to the store. So <laughs> I want to just get that done right up front and then we'll come back and resume the, resume the live stream and have some fun and all that. So uh, let's see. Uh, all right, thanks. Okay, so let me take you guys out there and you guys can say a quick hello and then we'll come back and get it popping. Oh, this is a picture of my parents when they were younger. Okay. Okay, so you guys want to say hi? Sure. Everybody say hi to mom and dad. Oh, I don't know if that's about good lighting, but. Do you want me to turn some lights on? No, I'll just hi come everybody. over here. Hi, everybody. It's because of those glass doors. All right, so there's mom and dad. They're doing fine. We're still Hi. pretty far, Dolly. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're doing okay. Take those two lights for help. Oh, let me do the light on. It's fine. Are you sure? So, do you guys want to tell everybody how you're doing? Yeah, we're doing great. I want to tell you all thank you so much for your prayers while we were working through the COVID. It was crazy, but you know we made it. We're fine. So, <laughs> there's hope for everybody. <laughs> And I'm feeling a lot better after being transported by the paramedics to the local ER. In Kentucky. In Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And um, it got so bad, I couldn't even get off the bed. I had to be transported. But right now I'm feeling quite a bit better. Mm -hmm. And just working on being better every day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, so. everybody's saying good things. They're saying, glad you're feeling better. Hi, guys. Thank so glad you. you're feeling better. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hope you're feeling, glad you're feeling better. Good to see you looking so strong and safe. Uh, they will keep, keep praying for you guys. So glad oh, and glad you. too glad you're better. So. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you very appreciate much. appreciate those prayers. All right. Hi, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Grant. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Yeah, love, you. love you. Love you. Love you guys. Okay. All right, so for those of you that are, that are new, you guys are probably like weird, but uh, for those of you that have been part of the channel for a long time and have been watching the videos, 
you guys have gotten to know my parents, not only through the live stream sometimes, but also through the van build. Um, and a lot of you have been super just like encouraging and supportive of everything that's going on. And they were pretty sick. So um, it's just nice to, you know, know that they're recovering and doing much better. So thank you guys for all the prayers um, and all the well wishes. Awesome. Thank you, Barry. Um, okay. Awesome. So let's see here. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's see. I have a few things on my list. I'm trying to figure out which one to cover first. Uh, yes. Thank you, Grant. Don't forget to throw a like on the live stream and just to get it out of the way. Um, sometimes I get asked if, uh, you want to donate to the snack fund, you can do so by hitting the little dollar sign under the chat box. That is a YouTube donation, but they do take 30%. So a better way to donate would be PayPal. They also take fees, but not as much. And Venmo and Cash App do not take any fees. So if you'd like to do a donation to the snack fund, it does keep me out on the road doing different activities and doing reviews and all these different things. Um, but it's never obligated, never required. Uh, so don't feel obligated. But I just like to mention that in case anybody would like to uh, make a donation to the snack fund. And thank you, Grant, for posting those links. Okay, so let's talk about what's been going on the past, what, two weeks since I've seen you guys <clears throat> in terms of my health and what I'm doing about getting back into the van and how the van is doing, Simon, the snack mobile. And then we're going to play several games today. So I'll get into that in a second. But okay, so last time I saw you, I don't really know exactly where I had, what doctor's appointments I've been to because honestly, since I've been back to California, I've been going to so many different doctor's appointments, x-rays, consultations, and I finally was able to see my primary care doctor. So I'm not sure exactly all the things that I've already told you guys yet. But Basically, um, I have like a lot of things going on health-wise. Um, I think the number one thing is my lower back. I had a pinched nerve. It's still not feeling that great. Um, and I'll tell you about a couple things about that. I still have pelvic pain. That's been since New York, which I had made a video about that being in the hospital. Um, and what else? And then some like GI problems. Um, so I know I told you guys I had a colonoscopy coming up, but they decided to add an endoscopy onto that. So that means that they needed to push that appointment out to another month so that they'd have enough time to do both. So that's not going to now has been moved to September 15th, which kind of sucks because it's right before my birthday, but at least I'll get it out of the way. Um, I have a consultation with my gynecologist for the pelvic pain next Friday. And so the, the thing with my back, um, my doctor, my primary doctor, um, she, I told her that my back is out of, out of alignment. My back is hurting really bad. And she was like, well, you know, let me determine that. She was slightly dismissive, which I didn't love, but she's like, well, let's see. So she had me lay down and she pulled my ankles and tried to even them out. And I'm going to show you guys a picture um, of what she did to my foot. She took a red pen and she marked how high or yeah, how high my left leg is compared to my right leg. So how much the hip distance is off. Don't, don't look at my feet. If, if, if anybody's on here, that's a creeper. That's like a fetish feet person. I'm not showing anybody for those reasons. And also my feet are not looking cute in this picture, but I'm just going to show you anyway. This is right after I came back from the doctor and she took a red pen and she marked um, where the difference is. This is how far off my, so if you guys could see that, let's see that red mark. That's how much higher my left leg is from my right. So that tells you right there that my hips are out of alignment which is causing more pressure on my right side. And I also have osteoarthritis in my lumbar area. So all these times, just like 
kind of roughing it in the van and not really taking care of my back and just not exercising enough and just all the things has really taken a toll. So she did approve me to go to chiropractic and physical therapy. So I will be doing those things for the next few months. And I've decided to do that in San Diego instead of being out here in the desert because it's just too blazing hot. I've decided to do all of those appointments in the desert. I mean, in San Diego. So I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in the San Diego area by the beach. It's going to be beautiful. And I'll be doing a lot of videos in that area. So it's going to be really nice. And I'll, I'm sure I'll be doing different things. I'll be in the van and I'll be doing different things, uh, maybe up the coast and some, uh, you know, I might go up to Northern California. There's going to be a lot of stuff. I'm actually pretty excited about this because there's so many different things, so many videos that I have, um, on my list to do. So I'm really excited about sharing a lot of this stuff with you guys. Um, but at the same time, I know that I have like a lot of appointments coming up and a lot of things that has to get taken care of in terms of restoring my health. Also, uh, I've been eating a lot better uh, and I'm already setting myself self up for when I get back into the van to be eating better, cooking more in the van and not eating so many processed foods and like cutting back on the sugar. Um, I'm not going to cut all sugar, but I will be continuing to, you know, get better because I kind of just was trying to make it for the, through the first six months in the van. And I wasn't focusing on my health. I was just focusing on the journey. And so now I need to really put those two things together. Um, let me read some of these comments. Linda, glad to see you are feeling better and you made it back to your parents. Thank you, Linda. Hey, Freya. Morning from Canberra, Australia. We missed you. Oh, Freya. Freya and Matt. Um, hope you're on the mend. Thank you very much. So Matt and Freya, I met them in Chile. Um, me and my other friend, Angel, we were traveling in 2019 and I was on a walking tour and I met Matt and Freya. They're from Australia, obviously. And uh, we just struck up a good conversation and we've been like friends ever since. And we actually ended up in Brazil together, which was amazing and awesome. So I love them very much. Thank you guys for being here. It's so good to see you guys' names. Um, hey, Mike, just joined in. Sorry, I missed your folks. Great day to hear they're doing better. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, I remember when you were in, yes, exactly. Did anyone go by the shopping list we did last time? What was the shopping list? Did anyone go by the shopping list we did last time? I don't know what's the shopping list. Oh, from, from the last live stream, the, the four things that would cause. So for those of you that weren't here two Saturdays ago, we did a, <laughs> a like, if you went to a store and you bought, you know, four items, it would be four items that would make the checker person kind of like, look crazy at you and they were kind of embarrassing. So no, I didn't go buy any of those things. Um, I know how that is with your back. I was going to have surgery on Monday, but now I can't have it. Oh, surgery on my tummy for hernia is number eight. Oh my gosh. Um, Rob needs dental work, but my blood pressure is too high for them to put me to sleep. Yeah. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, prayers up for everybody that's going through health issues. Um, I know Terry Zaleski, she's usually on the live stream, but she texted me and there's some things going on. I don't, I'm not going to reveal because it's hers to reveal, but definitely be praying for her and her family. Um, and I know that everybody, there's a lot going on. So everybody keep each other in their prayers. I have a September birthday too. Oh, September 11th. Mine says the 25th. So I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Noe, is it Noe or Noe Martin? Um, hey, Ray Ray, how are you? Uh, yeah, so... Um, long story short, I have a lot of appointments coming up. Um, and the crazy thing is with my insurance, some things I can just self-refer and some things I have to have my doctor refer. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of like, I don't really know, but things are like being pushed back by months. So everything is taking longer and longer. So also I'm trying to drink more water. So if but anyone else is trying to drink water, here's your water break. Okay, um, so the next thing is with Simon the Snackmobile, what's going on with that? So as some of you guys know, my van broke down on the way back from Texas 
it broke down one time and then by the grace of God, I made it back. And so I didn't really want to push it. So um, yesterday, me and my dad took the van out. We drove it. We put the cruise control on. Nothing happened. It worked fine. After that, we took it to the mechanic um, that we know. And he looked at it. And he there was, um, there was some wires in a clip that it looks like some mice or rats had chewed. And so he thinks that maybe the two wires had touched or something along my, that one day that the van broke. So, uh, that's probably the issue that those frayed wires are a problem. So the mechanic is booked out as well. Everybody's booked out. And so he's like, I can either get you in first thing Monday morning, or it's going to be like a month or two from now. So I'm going to take the van in on Monday and then Tuesday, I'm going to go to San Diego for my first chiropractic appointment and get that pop in. Um, and then I have to be back out here in the desert for next Friday. So as you can see, it's going to be a lot go of going back and forth from the desert to San Diego. And for those of you that don't know the area, that's like a two to two and a half hour drive. So I'm trying to get all my appointments pushed out to San Diego, but my primary doctor is in the desert. So some of the appointments have to be in the desert. But anything that I can get pushed to San Diego, I'm going to because it's much cooler out there. I don't have an AC yet. Um, that's in the works. Um, I did purchase, here's a surprise, I did purchase a swivel seat base for my passenger uh, seat so that I can turn the passenger seat around and I can finally sit in a proper chair and edit because up till now I was sitting in my van bed, which probably contributed to a lot of hunching and hurting my back. So that's coming and in a few weeks my dad and I will be installing the swivel seat so that's something very exciting okay Mike says have you had your legs measured we all have one leg shorter than the other I had a few track teammates in college who had injuries related to this issue and had to go oh interesting you know I haven't and I guess once I get to either physical therapy or chiropractic I'm sure they'll measure and figure that out Seriously, once you put your health together and your travel with your travels, you'll be dynamite. Take this time for you. Exactly. Like right now, I'm really focusing on my health. So I know that there hasn't been a lot of videos. I'm usually like, I really want to get out like three videos a week, but right now it's been like one or two. Um, but once I can really focus, after I can stop focusing 100% on my health, I'll be getting more videos out. But thank you. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Uh, my wife's birthday is September 14th and my son is the 15th. Ooh, a lot of September birthdays. Yes, Grant has the name, Simon Eileen Vantasia Sharp, the Snackmobile. So yeah, and yeah, exactly. I'm so glad it wasn't anything serious because there's a few cracked hoses, but the mechanic was like, those are exterior hoses. So they're not, the actual, the cracks are not really contributing to any of the problems. Um, but that one frayed wire is probably causing a problem. So I'm hoping, he didn't give me a price, but he's usually pretty fair. Um, and so, Hopefully it's not a lot, but I got to get it done because that's, I need to get back in the van. In regards to chiropractic, yeah, things will be popping. <laughs> Judith, that's true. Well, my doctor, she was like, if I allow you to go to the chiropractor, I don't want them to do any cracking. And I guess I never really thought about it. Like I always thought that chiropractors had, like that's the point. They crack your back or they crack things. But I guess there's ways for them to adjust you without doing like all the popping and cracking. So my doctor, my primary was like, I don't want you to go to chiropractic, go to a chiropractor that's really like crack heavy or whatever. That sounds funny, but she, she doesn't want them to just only just crack it and just not really focus on prevention or improvement, which makes sense. So when I go to this chiropractor, uh, hopefully, you know, they'll focus on, you know, getting things back in alignment without just doing just random things. Loving the addition of the bloopers at the, you know, what's funny is I just started doing that because I had so much extra footage. I was like, maybe people would like this. And then I get so many comments about people loving those bloopers. So I, and it's easy to do cause I'm already clipping that out. So I'm glad you guys like those bloopers and it's actually pretty fun to share all the extra things that goes into making the videos. Cause I swear 95% of the time, I don't know what it is whenever I get to do the intro or sometimes in the videos, I'm just like stumbling over words. It's, I mean, honestly, sometimes I cuss at that camera, but I don't know. 
maybe one day you'll get to see that and I'll bleep that out. Uh, let's see. Hey, Sailor Girl Fowler, Janiah. Uh, hey, Big, Tom, Big Tom's Ban. Plumbers crack me up. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, so I talked to you about Simon, the snackmobile, getting that fixed. Um, I'll be going to San Diego. Um, oh, I did pull, like, I'd say 75% of all the stuff out of my van. I'm afraid to show you because it's so, it's so, I'm going to show you, but you don't, it's just like with everybody, even in your houses, it's like, I don't know, we all accumulate so much stuff. And I didn't think I had that much in the van, but this is only like, I still have more in the van. I'm going to pull it all out and reorganize and just not bring some of the stuff next time. But look at all this stuff. I don't know if you can see. This is like all the stuff that's was like in the van. And it's just too much stuff. I didn't need all that stuff. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of the stuff. And then when I'm back in my van, I think it'll be a lot easier to maintain. And, you know, honestly, when you have too much stuff, it's hard to find stuff. And it's such a small space already. I really want to scale back even more. So the first six months in my van, there was a lot of problems. There's a lot going on and I'm learning a lot and I'm going to be making videos on all these things. Like I said, I'm very excited about all the videos that are coming up um, because I have a lot to talk about in terms of like van life and all this stuff. Um, but I really felt like I wanted to get a lot of stuff out. And so I'm going to be sorting through this stuff in the next week or so. And then um, I should be back in my van uh, in a week and then I'll be living out in San Diego full time and just going back and forth for my appointments. Um, <laughs> thanks Grant. <laughs> the blooper show us the goofy side. Yes, exactly. Tracy prayers for you feeling better soon from Melbourne. We are in lockdown six. I've heard about that. Oh, and I love, loved the lobster roll video. Ooh, thank you. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Australia and all like the lockdown -y stuff. So that's, that's a lot going on over there and I feel for you. Okay. So, um, let's see. Grant says, Jackie, that's his wife accumulated so much stuff. She's having a garage sale this weekend. Couldn't believe the amount of stuff that came out of the basement. And if it doesn't sell, it's going back. Oh no. Um, you don't think it's a lot of stuff, but then you start pulling stuff out of nooks and crannies and you're like, what? why do I have this? Why do I have so many things? And it's just too many things. And I think most of the stuff I'm going to just take to the goodwill or, you know, like angel view or one of the church um, thrift stores or whatever, because a lot of this stuff was under my bed in the van and I never even pulled it out. Um, like, I think I brought like five bathing suits. You guys want to guess how many times I wore a bathing suit on the six months in the van? Zero. It's not that I didn't want to go do stuff, but there was so many like challenges that I never even could even think about going into like a lake or a pool or anything fun like that. So I don't need four or five bathing suits. That's the moral of the story. And there's just so many things like that. And it's just too many things. So I'm organizing and I'll show you guys what I end up putting back in the van. Oh, it's not going back. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I see chiropractor besides the popping, I get stim and pulsed. Oh yeah, I've heard about the electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic therapy. I've heard about that. The popping is minimal in this office. Dr. Toy, Tem oh, Temecula. I used to live in Marietta. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try the one in San Diego and if I don't like them, then I have to go to the chiropractor that's associated with my insurance. But hopefully this chiropractic office, it's like a sports rehab. It's like a whole center. It's its supposed to be really great. So hopefully they'll do some really great work. Um, Big Tom's van. I took a lot out to make room for my safe. Oh, that's smart. That's a smart purchase. I'm here for it. I seriously thinking about van life. Ooh, that's why I'm pleased about your honesty when, you, when your house van breaks down. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to keep it real because there's been so many challenges and I was supposed to be in my van like full time, you know, when I left last December, but because of the health issues um, and it's, it's too hot where I am right now. So I have to just take a moment to regather and then I can kind of go back out and do the full time van. 
Um, yeah, anything left is going to Goodwill. That's that's a good thing. And some of the things, um, I don't even think about it. It's like in boxes, and then I'm like, oh, I forgot I had this. And it's like, if I'm not even thinking about it, why do I really even have it? So um, that's what's happening. So it is kind of hard, though, because my back is really sore and tender. So it's hard to bend over and like sort through all the stuff, but I'm going to just do it slowly over the next week. And I think I'll feel much better once things are streamlined in the van. Hey, Tanil, how are you? Thank you very much. Okay, so um, this first thing is not really a game, but it's kind of like a real life would you rather. And I wanted to ask these questions because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos coming up. I'm going to, I don't know, I'm not going to commit to this right this second, but I'm really considering doing a video a day, October, November, and December, which is like 90 days of videos. I don't know if I'm capable of doing that because my editing takes a long time. But if I do shorter videos, um, so anyways, these are the questions. I'm going to ask, um, uh, first, so get ready. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to answer some questions. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I moved three months ago. I gave so much stuff that it was that was in cupboards that was never used. It's so cathartic. Yes, true. Just think it can always be worse. True, true, true. I love questions. I can't ever shut up. This is my favorite time. <laughs> ready, set, go. Okay, everybody's ready. Okay, so as I'm preparing to do a lot more videos, would you guys rather see more shorts? So the shorts, the video, short videos are one minute long. They have to be less than 60 seconds to be considered shorts. Or would you guys rather see more 15 minute videos? And I'm gonna ask follow up questions. So just the first question is, would you rather see more one minute shorts or more 15 minute videos? <laughs> I love the emojis. All right, so JK is coming through with the 15. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Okay. I'm making little tick marks. Okay, Reverend RV would rather see both. All right. So I'd say the majority of you would like to see, uh, and I know Grant likes the shorts. I do know that. Um, this doesn't mean that I won't be doing shorts, but it just gives me a better idea that you guys still like the 15 minute videos. Um, Okay, you can tell I'm undecided, so I'll watch, I'll short 15, whatever, okay. Um, okay, now, if you had a choice to, let's see, how about do two shorts, one random, one short preview of the 15 minute. So this is the next question. Would you guys rather see more one minute shorts or eight minute videos? And I'll tell you the reason why in a second. So we got the 15 minute ones on lock, but would you guys rather see one minute videos or eight minute videos? Short shorts are good too. Whatever is easiest for you, personally, like fifteen. Okay, so with YouTube, it's kind of weird because obviously YouTube is my full time job. That's the only way that I can earn, not can, but am earning money. So with with YouTube, you can make ad revenue money on all videos, but if your if your videos are at least eight minutes long, you can tell YouTube where you want to place the videos and you can put more than a couple videos or a few ads on the videos. Um, if you have less than eight minutes, YouTube just does whatever they want. And I'm sure they have a really good ag algorithm, but as a creator, you kind of want to place the ads that makes more sense. So it's like, if you make a five minute video, it might be a cool video, but then YouTube's going to do whatever they want with the ads. If you make a one minute video, it's basically the same, but it counts as shorts and the shorts are being promoted heavily by YouTube. So as a creator, it makes more sense to either make one minute or eight minute or longer. So as a creator, you never know with your audience. And so that's why I wanted to put it out to my most loyal snack packers are the ones that come on the live streams. Um, so, okay. So you guys like the eight minute videos as well. 
I hate math. I'll go with the flow. 15 minutes is long. Seven minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. Okay. All right. So this is what I'm probably going to end up doing. Um, I'll probably mix it up then since you guys are okay with that. I don't think, I think in my whole history of doing YouTube, I've only uploaded um, longer videos maybe a couple times, but usually they stick to 15 minutes um, or less. Um, and then the only time before that was when I was doing my podcast, which those were an hour long, but that was like a test and I only did that a couple of times. Um, so what I'll probably do is throw in a few shorts and then do eight minute videos and 15 minutes. So I'll, I will mix it up. I'll probably mix it up. Um, one minute short, one a preview of the longer one and a random short. Do what benefits you the most. Keep the control eight minute minimum. Okay. All right. So that's good to know. Cause you never know. People might be bored. I'm like, I don't know. People might hate 15 minute videos. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's good to know that you guys are okay with that. I know for me, uh, when I watch YouTube, I like a variety, but I tend to like ones that, um, are a little bit longer too, because I feel like once I start getting into it, I'm already invested. So I'm okay with watching like a 10 or 15 minute video as well. So it's, we're kind of on the same page. All right, the next one, and when I ask these questions, these are just probing questions. They're not what I'm gonna do or not do. Um, but if you had a choice, it's more of like a would you rather, if you had a choice of me doing either food review videos where I go to a restaurant or get food and bring it back to the van of watching a food review video, like the lobster roll video, or when I ate the donuts at duck donuts, that's a food review video. Would you rather see that? Or would you rather see a day in the life? Like me going from like, Hey, this is what I had for breakfast. You know, I went on this little hike. I, you know, had this for dinner and went to bed and this is where I parked. Would you guys rather see food review videos or a day in the life videos? Which one do you prefer? You might like both of them, but if you had a choice, which one do you really prefer? All right. I like the 15 minutes. Perfect amount for me. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, never bored. Uh, I love your videos. Thanks, Tracy. My geez. Hey, Ian. Hey, Allison. Oh, hey, Dora from the Gypsy Movement. How are you? I haven't seen you around in a while. Um, question. Some people will watch videos at two times speed, like tutorials. Does it still count? For yeah, it does still count. And I actually do that too. I always put videos on either 1.5 speed or two times speed, and it does count for the watch time. So if you are kind of impatient or you just want to, you know, keep it moving, there's a setting on, you know, all the YouTube videos where you can set it to a, a faster speed. So the talking's going to be faster. So I like that. All right, so um, Noi likes Day in the Life. Got one for that. Um, AGT likes both. Hey, Nelson, how are you? Uh, Dora likes both. Um, SJM, or SJ Muller likes 80% travel and 20% food. Hot Tiger likes both. Whoops, I lost my place. Robin says Day in the Life. Tanil says both. Mimi likes Day in the Life. Don Don, Day in Life. Monica, Day in Life. So, okay. Um, day in life is good, my, good mix. A simple vlog day in the life. Nice to see her. Thank you. You too. Day in the life. I like to see day in the life of your nomad life. A uh, day in life. Look at the views on your videos you've already done, and that will tell you what people watch. So interestingly enough, Jean Paul, um, the majority, the videos that have the highest views are always the how-to videos. Not even my van build videos. I'm talking about how to stay warm living in a car, how to go to the bathroom in a car, how to shower, how to, it's like how to live in a car, how to live in a van. Those are like the one, how to stay warm living in a car has half a million views. So those are the ones that do the best. So I do try to throw the how to's in there because there's a lot of people still trying to get into car life living and van life living. So I'll always do those because those are the ones that YouTube recommends to everybody. But I also like to throw in other ones to the people that have been following the channel because you guys are already invested and you guys like to see what's out there. Um, so for sure, uh, it's a good tip. Uh, let's see. I'm doing I'm doing very well. Thanks, Nelson. Oh, you've been hella crazy busy. I feel you on that. Um, Mike says both a day in the life. If I could see the food too. bonus day in the life. Hard to say your reaction to good food is so funny and relatable. I'm good. 
Thanks for asking. How are you? Uh, thank you. I thought I was asking a weird question. A day in the life that also includes food. Okay. Cooking food. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Cooking food. I'll be for sure adding more of those. Both are good as long as there's a balance of food and travel, especially love the random roadside attractions. Okay, I do love those as well. So those that'll for sure. Day in the life, it looks like, oh dang, why do I never get my notifications? Hey, Cheryl T, how are you? Um, yeah, so okay, so most of you like the day in the life and I pretty much figured that as well. I know you guys do like the food review videos and I'll continue to do them. Um, but it seems like you guys like the you know, seeing how the day is flowing and it'll always include food. So you're kind of getting two in one. But if there's something really special food wise or if there's cooking, I'll probably make that a separate video. So hopefully you guys like that. And the last kind of question that goes along with this, and it may just be the same, is um, do you guys like the videos where it doesn't really include me as much, but it's like what to do in, let's say, uh, whatever, like, I'm trying to think of, like, I'm trying to think, I can't even think of, okay, like what to do in Miami, Florida, or what to do in Detroit, or what to do in Atlanta, where I go throughout a day of like, if you went to this city, you could do, you know, these five things, or would you rather just see me do the things in a day of the life that's more including me? Does that make even sense? So it'd be more like, would you rather see just what you could do or what I'm doing? I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does. Um, oh, Terry's in the house. Um, Terry, I mentioned that everybody to pray for you. I didn't tell him any details, but um, I'm glad you're here. And thank you for showing up. I appreciate that. Um, EM wants 15. Okay. His, it just hit me. Aren't food reviews part of a day in life? Yes, it is <laughs> for sure. When I lost my home, I found this community by looking for alternate ways to survive. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. They start looking at like alternate ways to live and a lot of people come to the channel for that. I love those videos. They're like a mini field trips. Okay, awesome. Lisa says you 100%. Yes, city highlights. Uh, hello, so happy I made it. Missed your lives. Hey, Nana Papa, I'm glad you're here. Um, the narration style videos are awesome. Okay, prayers for Terry. Of course, you are the best part of the video. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, Rebecca, I'm glad you made it. I like both, but getting out and doing things is my preference, okay? I like to that seeing uh, that you can do. Also, if you could add where to park as well. Oh, yes, that's a good tip. I'm going to write that down, where to park. Um, because I know how you feel about that, because when you're on the road, even just parking in the daytime, sometimes there's like paid parking and you want to avoid that. And then at night, it's sometimes, you know, you don't know where to park. So I'll include that as well. What you do wherever, okay? What you're doing uh, too far away for what to do in cities. Okay. That's a good point, Tracy. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, thanks for all your prayers. God is good and it will be okay. Okay, awesome. Show choices. Pick one or two and you visit. No day in the life unless it's about travel. Okay. Anything you share with us, I am happy. So, okay, awesome. All right, so... That gives me a good indication um, of what you guys like. I do like to mix them up. So I don't, you know, I like to, it's hard because you guys are like the core snack packers. You guys come to the live streams. So I take your word for it. But then there's like almost 40,000 subscribers to the channel. And so it's like, I don't know what everybody's here for. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what everybody else is wanting to see. Um, so it's, I'm always kind of questioning, like, should I do more food or did they come for that? Or did they come for a day in the life? Or did they come just to find out how to live in a van? So I'll, I'll mix it up. But I think what I'm hearing is you guys like a little bit longer videos, but not too long. And ones that include what I'm doing and showing you how to be in the lifestyle or what I'm doing in this lifestyle. So that makes more sense. And I will focus on that. Um, Terry says, I like the what to visit as shorts, but the shorts don't get as many views. As long as you interject your humor, they're always holders. Okay, awesome. Hey, Rachel, John filming. How are you? I love seeing places that I know I'll never see in person. <laughs> awesome. Um, I got a notification. So let me check this. Okay, that's about the live stream happening right now, which is we're here. Thanks, YouTube. 
Terry's Lesky coming through with $25 to the snack fund. Terry, you should be focusing on your family right now, but I appreciate you so much. Terry has been like such a blessing to me on the channel, but really personally as well. Like she's really been like giving me some great advice and some great tips and just, but it's just her and her husband have just been awesome. So I appreciate you so much, Terry. And I'm going to give you a shout out. I'm going to give you a hallelujah because you're a blessing. Thank you very much, Terry. I appreciate you and I'm praying for you and your family. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Hey, have Buddy who was whoa, whoa, whoa. have Buddy who was award-winning field reporter for Fox. You never saw him in his stories. Basically, he was more of a producer than a reporter. He let people in the story tell. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I I often thought like maybe I should do like talk to people on the road, but I don't know because I'm not like I'm not a great initiator of conversation. I shouldn't say that because, you know, I know I can get good at whatever I put my mind to, but I'm not the kind of person that like, just like walks up to people and starts a good conversation. Like my dad is like that. He can talk to anybody. We'll be at the store and he'll just be striking up conversations left and right. I'm not a real great initiator, but I, I am going to be start, like I'll start working on some collaborations with other content creators or other van life people. So it'll always include me in there, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I do want to like start sharing more information so that those of you that are interested in the van life will have as much information as you like. Thanks, Hot Tiger. I appreciate that. Dan Life, oh, is there a live stream? Uh, let's see. Awesome. Actually, my very first live stream timing usually. Of oh, okay. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Jordan, live for days. Um, they come for your dazzling personality, so keep doing you. 40,000 people can't be wrong. I hope not. <laughs> I hope I'm doing you guys proud. Uh, I really do try to do my best to give as much equal amounts of entertainment and education. That's, like, always my goal is to, like, keep it, you know, fun. Um, but also educational because... Everyone can use a little help. I mostly watch full-time van life videos, but the person matters a lot. Okay, cool. Hey, City Girl Unplugged. Stay cool in the desert during the heat wave. I think following the YouTube analytics is helpful if you want views, but I think variety is best for me as view. Yeah, exactly. I agree with that. And thank you. I've been trying to stay as cool as possible. That's why I'm trying to get out of the desert and over to the beach. And I'm with my Saturday family. Oh, Terry, thank you so much. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have no idea how I found you, van people. God put all the inspiring and relatable YouTube people in my life to show me my way out through my current situation. Amen to that. Well, I'm glad you found the channel. It's so great how um, so many people have come to the Travel Snacks channel. And it is kind of a mishmash of people, but I'm totally here for it. And I love to see, you know, like... Everyone's here for slightly different reasons, but we all kind of come together and are very supportive. And I really love that. Now some people aren't good. I am not really into people except on video at the moment. Yeah. You can do anything you set your mind to, my friend. That's how you grow. Amen. I personally have never met a stranger. Uh, congrats on Justin's new song. Oh, thank you, Grant. Justin is my son. He goes by Sharp. He's a rapper and a YouTuber. His channel is called Sharp with an E at the end. Um, and he's been really working hard on his music and he just put out a single, I think yesterday. So go check it out. It's called distractions and it's on Spotify and Apple music and maybe some other places, but he's really been doing a great job just trying to get himself out there. So thank you, Grant, for saying that. I think you should do a laundry on the road. No one has ever shows laundry. It might be, I might am beginning to wonder if anyone does. That's a good one, Terry. And I do laundry on the road. Um, that's actually will be a good video because first of all, you got to find a good laundromat. Some of the laundromats are trash. Uh, some of the laundromats are in bad areas. So whenever I'm looking for laundromats, maybe I'll show that how I look for laundromats. Um, some of my gripes with laundromats, because 
like one of the gripes is like a lot of them don't put the prices like you got to just guess and like it's only on the machine but i want them to be have a big sign it's a whole thing so that actually would be a really good i'm gonna write that down laundry so yeah that would make a whole video and then you know doing the laundry and stuff and yeah okay that's a good tip this is why terry's around because she gives me all these good ideas um amen to god putting things together for so many amen to that how about a video of an accidental meetup with another van life YouTuber could be, a, it wouldn't be accidental because I think you'd have to set that up unless I'm just out somewhere and I just happen to meet somebody, but then I wouldn't have my camera rolling. So it probably wouldn't be accidental, but I will probably meet up with some other YouTube van life people. So I do have that on my list. Check out Williams Hill recreation area. Amazing camp spot about an hour from Big Sur. Oh, I love Big Sur. 14 day limit and so peaceful. So I usually don't go into campgrounds because I don't like to pay for parking, but I do love Big Sur and I might check that out. So I'll write that down, Williams Hill. It's also nice to occasionally go to campgrounds because you know they have showers and toilets and stuff like that. Tina, I'm here for the travel ideas to see your adventures and to see about the food, amen. I think that you have to do a little of both things that feed the analytics and a little of your passion. One can't grow without the other. So true. I want to see the beaches in Cali when you're there. Okay. I will be making beach videos because there's so many really beautiful places. Um, and it's one of my favorite. That's why I love it. And that's where I used to live before I started building the van I, and traveling. I used to live in Carlsbad, which is right in San Diego County, which is considered North county north san diego county um i love it and there's so much to do in the san diego area so i will make make sure to make some um, beach videos it's like a quarter per five minutes in the dryer it's ridiculous some of these laundromats some of the laundromats i've been to have been awesome but some of them are like ten dollars it adds up to be like ten dollars per one load so you know I'm frugal. I'm over there just stuffing everything into one washer. So I don't sort. I just throw everything into one because otherwise you're going to, that's $20 to do laundry. And that's, you know, I try to make my clothes last for like two weeks, but still I'm not trying to do that. So that would be a really good video. So yes, you're right about that. Um. Oh, it's free. Oh, good thing I wrote it down then. It's BLM. Okay. Okay, well, that's on my list now. Are all the mods here? I think we're only missing, um, no, because there's a few more. Tanya, Tanya hasn't been here in a while. Um, and uh, Joanna from um, uh, Miss Peach Adventures isn't here. And well, Ivana from Two Sisters and a Cocktail, she's my friend, she's not here. But there's a few other moderators, but we do have a few moderators in here. Come to Ventura County Beaches Meetup. I do love Ventura County. There are some really beautiful beaches there. Um, oh, Barbara Arnold. Thank you so much for the $10. Thank you so, so much. Let me give you a shout out. That is a blessing. Let's give you a victory shout. Thank you very much. And I just got an alert too. Grant, our moderator, coming through with $20. Grant has his own special sound. Grant has been here since the beginning, pretty much. Of, I mean, he's been here from the beginning, the very first live stream. So I gave him this back then. I don't know. I don't know how it came about, but he's got a special. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grant. Grant is such a great moderator. All of our moderators are wonderful. Um, and Grant has just been a, such a great support. Um, and he's always looking out for me in the comments and stuff like that. And I really appreciate that because sometimes people are really rude. And so he's like, you know, the exterminator of bad comments. So I really appreciate you very much, Grant. Uh, Grant and Jackie, because I know, you know, you're married and you guys are just both awesome. Um, I've always thought that laundromats are a good place to witness when I finally get on the road. Actually, that's a good, that is a good point because people are sitting around just doing nothing. Um, I don't know if you have ever put out videos about the dangerous things to avoid in van life. Uh, if you did, I'm sorry, I think I missed it because those are, oh, um, I do have it on my list. Um, I was trying to, there's a lot of things on my list that I was trying to get to because, but because of all the challenges, I never even got to like 
focus my thoughts, but I will be making that video. There's also um, going to be a video about like first aid on the road and a bunch of other things, but that is on my list. But yeah, how to, you know, like the dangers and what to stay away from. Yes. Love your special sound. Awesome. I do hope Tanya's okay. I might send Tanya an email just to like check in because, you know, she's part of our little family. Thanks, Grant. I appreciate that. Um, how about a story about the moderators when you got one? Um, you mean like their like their life story, or just like what like? Give me more information about that and what you'd like to see, Deborah. We love you, Allison. I'm about to leave Florida for it. Oh, thank you very much, Dora. First of all, and where are you going, Dora? Grant is the best. Oh, we were just talking about Adventures of Miss Peach, Joanna. We were just talking about you. Um, how's it going? I still haven't used my wrench cop skills. Grant always catches every, well, Grant's been doing it longer. So he's like on the ready. Um, we were just, somebody was asking if all the moderators were here and I was naming off some of the people, some of the moderators that weren't here and then you just showed up and that was it. Um, let's see. Awesome. I love our little group here. And I was just thinking about this today as I was kind of preparing and I was like, I just want to thank you guys really like, you know, sometimes it's like my life is just going and like, I have a lot of things going on, but sometimes I just sit here and think about how amazing it is to just have such a supportive group. And I just want to thank you guys for being here because, you know, you don't have to be here and you could be doing so many other things. And, you know, you guys are always so supportive. It's so wonderful. And it's just like, it's just so awesome. And I really look forward to the live streams and it has been kind of a drag with my health, to be honest. Some days are better than others. Like yesterday, my back was feeling pretty good. And I was like, Ooh, but then this morning it wasn't doing that great, but coming onto the live streams, is just always such a treat for me. And I'm kind of looking forward to like when it gets a little bit cooler, just in general, because it's so hot, but also when it gets to be a little bit cooler, we'll be, you know, mostly in, like I'll be in my van a lot more cozied up and, you know, maybe I'll bring back more of the live stream, like more Saturdays or whatever. So yeah, it's been awesome. I just want to thank you guys because you guys are just really awesome. Um, Jackie took a minute away from her garage sale to say, oh, hi, hi, Jackie. Thank you for doing that. Small world. I just got my youngest settled in his apartment for college. Oh, that is so hard when your kids graduate high school and then move on. It's like heartbreaking, but also, you know, it's good. They're moving on and kind of branching out. Uh, yes. Good, good work with the yard sale. I love to go to yard sales, but I hate having yard sales because the people are always like, can I get this for a dime? And you're like, it's worth like 50 bucks. So I don't like to have them, but I like to get stuff for cheap. <laughs> Thank you again, Barbara. Um, I do not know anything about them. Just they are okay. Um, yeah, that would be cool to learn more about the moderators though. We have the most uplifting group of people and I'm so grateful to be included in such positive kind group. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm glad you're here. Hey Russ, how about van maintenance and what to prepare for in heat rain? Cold? I'll write that down. I do have a maintenance one on my list. But I think that's a good addition, like in different, you know, rain, heat, cold, as well as the things you need to check and, okay, check and win. Okay, that's a good one too. A little bit cool, cooler means something else entirely. Yeah, I bet. So for those of you that live in like cold climates, I bet you're not probably looking forward to like the winter time. But when you live in California, the winter's never really like the winter. Occasionally, occasionally it might snow, but mostly it doesn't. And so it is a totally different thing. In California, it's just like everything cools down. You can actually breathe and it's just so much better. But I know for some of you, you're like, it's like the frozen tundra out here. They're on many channels. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, trying to figure out how to sleep in my Honda Accord Coupe. I mean, you can definitely figure anything out, but it may not be as comfortable, but you got to just try it and just try different positions and stuff like that. Like in my, in my sedan, in my Kia Optima, I just, you know, I tried a few things. I tried it with like a, a bed pad 
Then I tried it with the mattress. Then I tried it without the mattress and I tried the front seat and I just kept trying different things until I found the position that felt better, like good enough for me, but I would just give it a try. Um, awesome. Okay. So let's, um, let's see. Okay. So we're going to move on to the last part, which is the games, the actual games. Um, and today I have two, not even would you rather questions, but two like opinion questions. And so I think these will be fun and you guys have had such great funny responses that I was like, you know what, these are going to be two questions that I think you guys will like. And we'll try to get through it quick because I know we're at one hour already, but we'll take the next couple minutes and just play these two games and then we'll wrap it up and you guys can go on your way. Um, so give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready for those questions. Oh, ag agoraphobic squirrel. I'm by Big Bear. We get a fair amount of snow here in Soka. Yes, Big Bear is really cool. And I don't mean just like cool weather-wise, but a cool environment, a cool place to go to. And I've been thinking about taking a trip up to Big Bear when it gets a little cooler, but not when it's like super snow, but Big Bear is a nice area. Games, 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 whoop, whoop. All right, so everybody's ready for the game. So the first one is, okay. This is kind of in honor of the Olympics, which I haven't watched, but I've just seen clips of different things. But which sport, just pick, you, I'll let you pick two, but just mainly just try to stick with one. But which sport do you think would be the funniest to watch if people were drunk? Now, I'm a little put a little star asterisk thing that nobody would get seriously injured or dead. Because I know sometimes you might be thinking, oh, that's too dangerous. It's just a game. There's no deaths in this game. But what would be the funniest sport to watch where all the participants are drunk? with no like life-threatening injuries. What do you think? Uh, sorry, I came in the la late part of the chat, just got home, hope you and your parents. Thank you, Evelyn. Um, I'm starting to do a little bit better. My parents are doing better. So we're on the, the uprise if you, if that's the right word to say. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Oh, Russ is coming through with, oh, the triple jump. I didn't even think of that. Wow, that would be that would be really that would be so funny now that I'm thinking about that. Angela, Angela's here. Angela's my friend from high school, and she's just like a great person. Um, I'm glad you're here, Angela. Curling, dude, that would be all over the place. It's already funny to watch curling because they're just like, shh, 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 shh. but to be drunk, they'd be all over the place. Rob says roller skating drunk. That'd be bad synchronized swimming they wouldn't i don't think they'd be synchronized i don't the pole vault you guys are coming up with some good ones the pole vault i wonder if they would like miss the whole bar all the way if you were that drunk you'd be running sideways and you would probably fall over tennis would be a good one tennis would be a good one because I don't think they hit the ball, the ball very many times and they'd probably be cracking up at each other. Gymnastics. That could be so dangerous, but like I said, there wouldn't be like death, but also could you imagine somebody on the uneven bars drunk? They'd be flinging, flinging, like flip flinging all over the place. Oh, the discus. Oh, that'd be bad. That would be in the crowd. That discus would be all, somewhere that's not. Yes, yeah, synchronized swimming. I think that would be pretty funny because they would just be like, they'd probably be like snorting water because they would be cracking up so much. Ooh, platform diving. That could be real bad. <laughs> they'd probably fall off the platform without even diving. Yes, definitely curling would be funny. Gymnastics, gymnastics for sure. Synchronized swimming, figure skating. Oh boy. Try to do, they'd be trying to do those like triple jumps and I don't think they would land. Discus, I don't watch sports, so I'm sticking with the drunk roller skating. That's a good one too. They'd be all over the place. Hurdles, they would be tripping all over. Table tennis, there'd be balls everywhere. <laughs> uh, gymnastics would be awesome to watch if they were drunk. Balance beam, oh, the balance beam. 
I don't think they'd even be able to get on the beam. Uh, all good, Angela. I'm just glad you're here. Volleyball. That's a good one. That was on my list. So I'll have to pick another one. Tracy picked mine. I would think volleyball would be really funny because I don't know. The ball would be all over. Ice skating is a good one. High jump. Yes. Might try the trunk. Um, tennis. They would get stuck in the net for sure. Volleyball, diving, Curling is the fun. I think curling would probably be the funniest. Relay. Oh, the relay. Could you imagine if everybody on that relay was drunk? <clears throat> I think they would be like running, laughing, falling over, and then they'd try to pass it off and they wouldn't be able to because they'd be like weaving in and out. Floor tumbling. That's a good one. I wonder if they would throw up if they were floor tumbling. That'd be gross because they're flip flopping all over the place. Uh, the luge, is that like, yes, oh my gosh. Rowing, that would be funny too. They would be all off on that. So the second pick that I had, if somebody picked volleyball, I think that golf, golfing would be a funny drunk because you would, it'd be so funny because they'd put the ball and then they'd keep trying to hit the ball and they'd be cracking up and they would keep trying to hit it and they would probably miss the ball. And then if they hit it, they probably hit it in a like a weird direction. So I think golfing and then plus they have to drive their little carts around. So I think that would be actually really funny to watch because golf can be kind of boring if you're watching, if you're not into it. But I think drunk golfing might be a hit. Like they should start a drunk golf. But I don't want anyone to get hurt, but I think it'd be a funny, a funny one. Karate. Oh, man, that would be funny. Uh, yeah, the luge would be fun, funny too. But yeah, that would be a real mess trying to get into the being drunk. I've actually played golf drunk. You have? How was it? Did you miss the ball a lot of times? Drunk golfing happens every day all over. That's yeah, that's probably true. Um, javelin. Oh my gosh, that'd be like discus. Like it'd be like. I see a new Olympic Games emerging. I mean, honestly, Monica, I think that would be pretty funny. I don't drink, but I think it'd be funny to see drunk people doing Olympic stuffs. Side note, heavyweight what, weightlifter Sarah Robles, Robles, so Robles, three-time Olympian with two bronze medals. Group, oh, Really? Desert Hot Springs and San Jacinto. Desert Hot Springs is really close to my parents' house. So proud of her. She is one strong and silly woman. That is awesome. I did not know that. No golf carts. <laughs> Baseball. That would be a whole show right there. Basketball. Basketball. Remember that movie? I don't think I remember that movie. Um, I think any of those sports like football, basketball, baseball, any of those would be funny if people were drunk too. Go to any golf course. Most of the old people are drunk. I've, I never knew that. This is a new thing I've, I never even knew. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> It just think in my mind, it just thinks like them trying to putt and they're just like stumbling and stuff. And they're, no, that seems just too funny to me. All right. So that's good. That was a fun, that was a fun one. You guys had a lot of good answers that I didn't even think about. Long jump, people would just be making sandcastles and giggling, probably. That's probably true. Um, okay. So the final question of the day, the final fun game is, um, this you're gonna have to put your little thinking cap on. Um, but if you had to pick, and I don't know if this is politically correct, so it's just a game. I'm not trying to make any like, I don't even know what's politically correct anymore or not, but I'm just gonna, if you had to pick your pirate name, what would your pirate name be? Is it pirate like offensive? Is that an offensive thing? I don't even know. But I hope it's not. It's I'm talking about like pirates like like the Pirates of the Caribbean or like the Johnny Depp pirates. I'm not talking about like death real life pirates. I'm just talking about like movie pirates. So we're gonna keep it like fun and not political. Or I don't even know anymore. <laughs> so what would be what would be your pirate name? 
if you had to go on the ship and you're going to be like the captain, what would be your captain pirate name? Uh, Avalair cat Ahab. Okay. Um, Joanna says, Arr. A Brenda, I lived on a green in my backyard. They are drunk a lot. Meet one, one times during night on green romantic regular Peyton Place. Oh my gosh. I bet that is a sight to see. Wendy Winch of Westchester. <laughs> That's a good one, Mimi. That is a good one. You are too cute, sweetie. You're with family, not right. Thank you very much. The Silent Sword. That That's a good one. Ah, these are funny already. Gatorfoot. Okay, I'm cracking up on these already. This is a good question. Huh, hilarious. Captain Peachifier. Oh, Peachifer. Captain Peachifer. <laughs> good to stay on brand, too. I have never thought about being a pirate. Am I boring? No, I don't think about being a pirate, but I was, I don't know where I saw this question, but I was like, I think that'd be a funny question if you had to pick your own pirate name. If you were on the high seas on one of those big ships and you had your special pirate name, what would it be? Grant's still thinking. I've been thinking about this already, so I have mine already written down. Cheryl says, C6 swashbuckler. <laughs> you know what? That's a good one because I get seasick as well. So I probably should have made that into one of like part of the name that I chose for myself, but that's a really good one. That's a smart thinking. Captain, I got this. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else before I reveal what my what I think my pirate name was gonna be? Edwin No Money Mables. <laughs> it's like, where are you guys coming up with these? <coughs> that's funny heading to cali next week used to live there before nevada oh awesome what part of cali captain foul weather oh that's a good one sunshine love that's a good one lazy land lover that's a good you guys have smart ones sir rob r when is that wink sir r wink captain peg leg these are good ones I bet you if you go on Google, there's probably a pirate name generator if you really can't think of one. But you guys are really creative, so. Captain, I got this is funny. Captain RV. Oh, that's a good one. You're so smart. Oh, WNC. Oh, I got it. Sir Rob R WNC. That's a good one. My captain, my captain. Ah, oh, you guys are so clever. You guys have good ones. Anyone else? Anyone else have a pirate name they'd like to share? Just in case we all end up on the high seas one day. Too creative. I know, everyone's so creative. Okay, before I reveal my pirate name, um, the next live stream is going to be August 28th. So write that down. August 28th, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. And like I mentioned before, I might start going back to the every Saturdays. But that'll be, we'll keep going through the um, once every other Saturday or every other Saturday for sure through September um, and maybe October, but we'll see. But I, um, it's going well so far, but we'll see. But for sure, the next one will be on the 28th of August. Uh, Fair Winds Beanie, One-Eyed Jack. The fact that you even have to qualify your question. Is, it really is sad, Barbara. It makes me like, like, I don't even want to have to qualify. But also, I'm like, you just never know. I don't even know what's proper anymore. Freya, Captain Crunch Diddly. <laughs> That's a good one. That is funny. Oh, yes. If you haven't done so, throw a like on the live stream. Thank you. Tracy, the terrific. I like it. I like the positivity of that. Rachel, grr, phone call. Is that your name or you have an actual phone call? 
The Snack Pack Food Pirates. Oh, yeah, that would be a good, that would actually be a fun um, cruise to go on. If we all did a Snack Pack cruise, would you guys like that? Would that be fun? Or would that be weird? I don't know. Oh, actual phone call. Um, I know that there's like some like organizations or some like groups or stuff that like organize these big cruises. I don't think my channel's to that level yet, but in the very future, maybe when there's like a million subscribers, we could do like a big cruise. That would be pretty cool. Witty Smitty. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So mine is going to be, I'll type it because I'm actually on Monica, but no Lewinsky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, it would be a blast. Let's sail away. I've only been on two cruises and I do get seasick, but the second time I got that patch and it was much better. I think a cruise might be pretty fun. Yeah. Love a cruise as long as we can't get COVID. Yeah. It would be not anytime soon. Um, I'm going to type this because on my iPad, I can't type, but on my computer, I can. I'm going to type my pirate name. Chips Ahoy. That's a good one. Ventura County, Ohio. I love that area. 43 watching with 72 likes. I love it. Car uh, Caribbean, Caribbean cruise and all for us pirates. Yes. All right. So I'm posting mine. I'd be called Booty Looty Judy. You know, because pirates loot for booty. Is that funny? <laughs> oh, man. I crack myself up sometimes. You kind of have to because I'm alone a lot and, you know. <laughs> Tracy says, ooh, I love that. I got an LOL from Hot Tiger. So, okay, I got some LOLs, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Thank you guys for for liking my my funny one. Um, awesome. Okay, so I have written a few things down about different um, video ideas that you'd like. Um, I do have a lot of video ideas coming your way. Um, I'm still a little behind on my editing from when I was still on the road, so um, I'll be posting those. Um, let's see. I pretty much think that the next time we're here on the 28th, I should be in San Diego unless I have an appointment out here in the desert and then I might be here. But either way, I'll be back in my van. I'm going to get all my van stuff together and I should be back in my van full time in about a week. Um, and yeah, it's just been like an interesting journey so far, but I am really looking forward to, I will give you a little quick thing I want to say, and then I'll wrap it up. But because of like the challenges, the heat and um, like my health, I have like been like on the couch and trying to like rest my back. And so when I went finally into my van to go start it up, I was like, I wonder if I'm like, you know, not really loving the van anymore because my mind was like stuck on like it being too hot in there and it was like kind of stressing me out. But then when I went in there to go get some stuff and I was like, Oh, I love my van. Like I like being in here. And really it's only just because it's so flipping hot in there. That's the only like mental thing that's dragging me down. So I was a little scared there for a second because I'm like, what if I hate van life? What if I hate being in the van? And I just spent all this time building, building this van. Um, but I don't, I really love it. <laughs> and I really, was happy to be like, like when I walked into the van, I was like, oh yeah, I miss it. And I really can't wait to get back in here and like, you know, get it going again. It's just really that heat is unbearable and I'm working on some stuff to get that taken care of. And um, I think once I get that, I think it'll be a lot better. So I'll keep you updated on what's happening with that. But um, as it starts to cool down, I think I'll be a lot happier as well. Um. <laughs> if you laugh a lot when you are on your own, they will come and get you probably. Yeah. Captain Bootylicious. That's a good one too. Oh my God. The gentleman in me will keep quiet. <laughs> I know I opened myself up for some questionable comments. 
um, with that booty, booty, looty, Judy. Um, our local Zumba class had one, a travel agent and a hundred people pre-booked it a long time. But wow, that's a lot of people. I think we could probably get together a hundred people on a cruise. Um, AGT coming through with a $2 snack fund donation. Let's give you, since we were talking about sports. He shoots, he scores! <laughs> Thank you so much, Rob. You're awesome. And I appreciate that very much. Um, the key to van life is not paying rent. It isn't about trying, wait, sorry, is not paying rent. It isn't about trying to spend a lot of time in the van. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I enjoy it and I enjoy it being my home. So I'm actually looking forward to getting back in there and getting back into my routine. But I do need to make sure that I do it better this time with my health. Take it a day and a step at a time. You have been through a lot. Thank you very much. No, that's not cheap, Rob. Any donation is a blessing. Honestly, yeah, like Grant said, every dollar counts. Honestly, like I know people say that. Like you go, like if you watch telethons or fundraisers or, and they always say every, honestly every dollar does count you could get a taco for a dollar you could put a dollar's worth of gas in you could you know whatever if your breath stinks you can get some gum for a dollar like there's so many things you can do for a dollar two dollars five dollars so whenever i say that i really do mean like every donation is a blessing nobody owes me anything nobody um the snack fund is like a blessing that if people want to put in a blessing it is used in a good way, but I don't ever think people are being cheap. I don't ever think that. I don't ever leave the live stream going, oh, how dare they give me a dollar? I think that'd be so rude. I think it's a total blessing. So don't ever, don't ever think that's being cheap or anything. You will love it once you get back in the van life. I just have done gone through a rough patch. Yes, that's how I feel as well. Um, yeah, it was like so stressful. And so just my back being so much in pain, I was just like, I got to get out of this van and do some things better. Uh, any auto aircon specialist out there want to help out our leader? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I have a solution though, Russ, and I'll share it in a future um, live stream. Hey, go, go van. How are you? Oh, um, Belladonna, I am in the Palm Springs area of California where it's blazing hot. Um, that's where my parents live and my friend who's actually my ex-husband, but we're friends. Um, he lives here. So I've been bump, like bumping up back and forth between my parents' house and his house because he lives closer to my doctor. And so I am in that area, but I'm going to be moving over to San Diego um, probably in about a week. See you all next time. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and be happy. Hello world. Hey, Norman. I think that is a natural thought process. We didn't do a question. You will be fine. Thank you very much. Um, I seen she is not in her vehicle. Um, all donations are appreciated for sure, Dale. I love it. She's a real four tacos for that is facts. Four tacos from Jack in the Box. Honestly, I actually do love those ta those tacos from Jack in the Box. ATT. Whoop! What? Another five. That's a lot of tacos. Let's give you this one. Thank you, Rob, so much. And for being also a great moderator for the channel. The summer has been miserable everywhere, especially following the pit. It really has for a lot of people, not just me. Like everybody's been struggling hard. So prayers for everybody. Thank you, Norman. I appreciate that. Fall, the we fall weather is coming. Come on, fall weather. I really, I, I hate... When the time changes, honestly, hate it, hate it. But this year has been such a struggle with the heat that I'm really looking forward to fall weather. Just take care of your health first, then go back to your adventure. We want to see you healthy and continue to be amazing. Your amazing self. Uh, God bless. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the encouragement. It really does make a difference. I put frozen blue ice on my back. Uh, yeah, I have. I put some. I iced my back last night. I'm going to go after this live stream. I'm going to go ice my back again. Great channel. Been watching for two months. Oh, thank you, Norman. Glad you're here. All right. Um, meant to say God bless. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. Um, take care, everyone. Stay cool. Stay 
stay free. Yes. I don't follow you because of the van or the snacks. I just think you're a lovely person, generous spirit. And ah, oh, that's so nice to hear. Thank you. Um, I've mentioned it before, but some people are like, Oh, if you're not in your van, you're not living van life. But it's like, I do. I only have a van. I don't have an apartment, but I am blessed to have family that, you know, I can go to in cases like this where I need to get like medical help. Um, dear God, you know, the names and you know, these, thank you so much, Rachel. I love when you say that. Take care, everyone. Be safe. Uh, time change really does change life. Hope you folks are doing okay. Good luck this week. Oh. I'm getting a phone call right in the middle of my love stream. Um, hope your folks are doing okay. Yes, they are doing better. Good luck this week. Glad you got all your diagnostics lined up. Hopefully you get fixed up and hundred percent again soon. Say hi to my fam jam in beautiful San Diego, Fallbrook. Oh yeah. It's so beautiful there. Um, Thank you, Grant. I appreciate that. I'm glad you still love van life. Someone told me to spray water on my sheets and have the fan on to help in hot weather. Oh, that's a good tip too. All right. So we've got definitely gone over today, but it's hard to like wrap it up because I really enjoy this time. I'm going to go probably ice my back and relax for a little bit and figure out what I'm going to do for dinner. And I hope you guys have an wonderful rest of your weekend a wonderful week we'll be back on the 28th um and feel free to check in on instagram or tiktok or put comments when i post videos i'll be posting some more videos this week and i think that's it good luck on monday thank you very much i've been living a very minimalist life all my life love it yeah minimalism is the way to go feel better and have a safe weekend Thank you, AGT. Thank you guys so much. Uh, God bless. Feel better. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a, have a great evening. Take care. God bless. God bless. Have a great weekend, y'all. Love you. Love you guys. All right. Have a wonderful week. And until next time, bye for now. See you guys later. Thank you guys for everything. You guys are amazing. Bye.